thousands of years of history, flattened by two years of intensive fighting. Once, this city was a bustling, noisy home to half a million people. Now, Homs in Western Syria is haunted by silence. But signs of life are slowly emerging from the rubble. Not everyone is giving up. Radi is 85. He's back to inspect what was once his house. Radi owns a three-story block and a shop that was once the family's lifeline. He, like thousands of other residents of this ancient city, became displaced in his own country. Now he's among those who are slowly coming back. For others, this is not just about reclaiming their home. Going thing to, to return to my root, to return to my life, to return to my nationality. This is our life. We will not forget. Hadi is an English teacher. He lived here with his extended family. He was displaced five times inside homes. Now most of his family live abroad. He dreams of rebuilding his house, but his greatest sadness is for his country. It is not Syria. It is not Syria. It is, I think, it is a kind of film. We... The overall cost of reconstruction is expected to be in the billions, with each owner needing thousands to rebuild. The fighting here ended in May 2014. Returns have been a trickle, 2,000 to 3,000 people. But the residents' resolve to return is clear. They have lived away from their places and neighborhood for too long. They want to come home. <laughs>